What's up, family? Back in San Jose del Cabo again. And we're gonna go off the beaten path a little bit here and look at like a condo hotel slash Airbnb, definitely an investment property. 13 units with one commercial space. Really primo location, which you're gonna see. And um, I think this is really good for anybody who's got money or sitting on cash in the United States that wants to get a solid return and they can't find it in that particular market. Um, you could Airbnb this, uh, that would be the ideal. But uh, we're talking about 13, like basically two bedrooms. You're gonna have to put a little money into it. And I know that this owner is willing to jump down in price right now. It is currently listed at $600,000. I'm in the main square right here. I did another video about the, the art walk and the big draw here. But uh, this is gonna be a solid location. It's really, you can't beat this location. And um, I just think if this is well done, um, you'll look back at this in like five years and be like, wow, I can't really get this type of property here. San Jose del Cabo has a little bit higher um, barriers for development as well so especially around here you can't just buy a, a building and then build upon it it's a lot more historical architecture so they're much more strict about that element so anyway I'm starting to ramble on here let's go ahead and uh, jump into the property and see what it's all about what's up so I'm outside of Hotel Diana right now and um, you've got a lot going on right here really close to the square um, one of the commercial spaces see right here so you have a commercial space and then we are inside right here and this is pretty basic but uh, this location is money so you have your uh, reception room right here you got little uh, laundry area right here Got a little uh, alley right here where you have um, basically stuff for laundry. But this is all like owner type stuff. We're not even really into the, the units yet. And these units are old, but like I said, the reason why this one is so appealing is the location. These are all like really kind of low end right now. But man, this is a, a solid place. 13 rooms, very basic. And I don't need to keep going into every single one because you'll get the idea, you know, kind of two beds and bath, really all you need, the basics, right? And the bottom floor, I think right now there's two people staying here. Um, the bottom floor is, I believe five units and the rest are up top. There you see the uh, for sale sign right here. But really solid location right here. And you can see the stairs, man. I estimate, so first of all, I think they'll drop the price. It's listed at 600,000. I think they're willing to drop the price. And to be honest, for this uh, location, that's pretty, pretty solid. But I'd have to say just by looking at this, um, you know, you might be looking at maybe maybe double that price um, just for renovations if you wanted to make it, you know, top notch and increase what you're gonna get, you know, the daily rate. But um, each one of these has bed and bath, right? So one, two, three, four, five six seven eight i think it's nine rooms on this floor so um with walking distance you know i think this is really not a bad option um and as they told me here's a room that hasn't been done yet so this is a project but when you start thinking about how hot the market is um, I think there's a lack of affordable options here in San Jose too. So this is, you know, definitely a project. 
I'd say you're gonna have to be looking at a, a minimum of a million dollars all in, but we're talking 13 rooms. And this location is really nice. I'm gonna walk out after this and just kind of show you a little bit more about the location. flag to the main plaza right there too. Walking distance. Great location. Alright, so this is the outside of the building. Once again, 13 units. I think there's a lot of potential here. This location is money. Um, so, as is, it's listed at 600000 I think they'd be willing to go down. I'd say 20-25% just off of my feeling of the owner right there. And as you can see, man, this location is money. We've got, you know, main streets. It's literally right next to the, to the bank right there. And then as you see me walking to the main square, you know, so it's a solid location. And, um let's say let's just be conservative and say five hundred thousand dollars entry point man i'd have to say you're looking at if you wanted to do it correct a minimum of seven hundred thousand so i'd say just rough ballpark numbers right now i call it uh 1.2 million dollar investment for uh, like a boutique hotel a condo hotel on airbnb and as you can see right here man i'm not lying you got the main church right here so great location i think if you do it correct you're really not gonna have too much i wouldn't say competition but you're really not gonna have too much problem renting this out i'm walking distance i'm already at the main square right now you know uh, i was just talking to uh, William at my company and he told me that there is a boutique hotel called Drift that did very well the owner kind of spruced it up and uh, put a lot of uh, sweat equity into it right but he was able to sell it for a generous profit you know over a hundred percent return over you know we're talking maybe six seven eight years something like that but um, I just think this one's a no-brainer for somebody who has money in the States, who sold out of something, and uh, you know, really looking for a return, an investment property. This would all be the US dollar. You know, just really nice uh, location. It's just, you're gonna need to put in some work. So if you guys have any interest in this particular property, give me a shout. And once again, we have the teams in place that can do the construction, that can do anything like that and once again you wouldn't really be moving walls or anything it would just be like looking at flooring looking at the walls maybe looking at uh, renovations on the bathrooms and stuff like that to the point where you know it's just more modern because um, you can tell the owners just sat on this particular property and didn't really do any renovations so all in all a very solid uh property and um you guys have any questions reach out to me